Please forgive me for my sins. Dear Lord, I have sinned. <laughs> okay, so the holidays are over. And I'm not going to give any specific numbers or anything, but how much weight did you gain during the holidays? Because I suppose I got some free magical, or so I thought, some free magical eat anything all you want all the time pass and you're not going to gain any weight. So I thought pass. That doesn't exist. So I learned. Um, I'm, I'm going to share with you one of my low points during the holidays. And I would love to hear what your low point is because if I'm sharing it with you, you better share it with me. Okay, so I ate anything I wanted during the holiday season. I seriously don't know what I was thinking. No control over what I was putting in my mouth. I'm not quite sure what, would, what that all was about. Anyways, yeah, my jeans don't fit. But it, it'll, it'll get better. It'll get better. Okay, here's my all-time low point. And... I'm sure you could predict the ending of the story. So I make a pretty good fudge and I'll post it on my um, website at a later date. So I divvied up the fudge and took it to work and took it here and took it there. Well, I had a big old plate left of fudge. And me and chocolate have this thing where it's like crack cocaine. I don't, I've never had that before, so I'm not really quite sure if that's a good comparison, but chocolate's my crack. So I made this big old thing of fudge, divvied it up, and left a plate at home. For who? Who's going to eat it? Me. I'm going to eat it. My kids won't eat it. My husband will eat it. But he's not at home as much as I'm home. So I leave this thing of fudge there. So I'm eating it. Like, like they're grapes. Eating pieces of fudge like it's grapes. So then I'm like, I go in the hallway and I look in the mirror and I say, what? are you doing? What are you doing eating all this fudge? Who, think, who do you think you are? You think you just eat the fudge and not gain any weight or get any cavities for that matter? So I had one more piece of fudge and then I um, threw the fudge in the garbage. Does anybody know where this is going? <laughs> love you, mommy. I love you. So about an hour later, I'm sitting in the kitchen <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Okay, so I'm sitting in the kitchen, and what is calling me from the garbage can? <laughs> the garbage can, it's the fudge. <sighs> okay, so my garbage can had just been taken out, and all I had in there was paper and fudge. I actually had, um, you know, when you shred your paper and I you have all that confetti, and a neatly, I must have done this because I knew I was going to do it, a neatly placed paper plate of fudge on top of all the paper clippings. <clears throat> I went in the trash can and I ate the fudge <laughs> out of the trash can. <sighs> oh, isn't that so pathetic? Please somebody tell me you've done the same thing or something as pathetic as that. Because I know if you're a foodie, you have food issues like me. You just can't eat like a bird and eat bird seed all day long. Uh-huh. Can you believe I just admitted that to y'all? Because I love you. So then I went to the mirror in the living room, I mean in the hallway, and I said, Oh my God, you just ate food out of the trash can. So what I had to do is I had to pour Windex on the, on the fudge so I wouldn't eat it anymore. God, I'm so sad. Is it just a holiday thing? Or is, am I going to be a garbage can food eater my whole life? Jeez, old Pete. I am. So, um, obviously I have issues. Just thought I'd share that little tidbit of information with y'all. <laughs> Bye.